Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Retail company MassMart recently installed a 572 kilowatt solar photovoltaic plant on the roof of its recently opened Macro Carnival store in Brackwan Kauteng. And Ian Killian tells us more. The store would be the first macro store to make use of renewable energy to meet its energy requirements, and 2,160 solar PV panels were installed on its roof. Macro sustainability manager Alex Hall says that implementing solar PV at the Macro Carnival store underlines the company's commitment to reducing its environmental footprint. This is our first store that includes solar power. We've put in a 572 kilowatt solar plant that's um, is 3,800 square meters in size, and we estimate it's gonna produce about a million kilowatt hours of electricity each year. It's our first and one of the largest that we're aware of on a standalone site. The PV panels are expected to produce 1 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year, and will account for between 60% and 80% of the building's electricity needs during the day, and 30% of the store's yearly electricity requirement. He says that Macro has been greening its store since 2010 to save energy, reduce running costs, and improve the in-store environment and customer shopping experience. Hall added that all new Macro stores would be sustainably developed and that older stores were in the process of being retrofitted with a variety of energy management technologies and systems. In addition to the PV panels, the building had a daylight harvesting system that reduced the store's electrical lighting requirements. We are really proud of this, uh, our new macro store. It's about 40% more energy efficiency than our legacy stores. We've achieved this efficiency through three key areas, managing the lighting, so it's 100% LED lighting, um, that works in conjunction with daylight harvesting, which really reduces the lighting requirements of the store. We've also looked at our refrigeration, so it makes use of CO2 refrigeration, which is highly efficient but also uses a natural refrigerant gas, um, so that's lower impact on the environment, and it enables us to harvest condensate, which we then use in the refrigeration and to help with the irrigation of the store. And the third area that we've looked at is really around climate control in the store. We make use of a thermal chilling system, which enables us to shift the demand or in the cooling requirements of the store, and through that we've significantly reduced our consumption. The new store had a staff complement of 387, with local community residents accounting for 80% of the employees. Other news making headlines this week. The largest mall in South Africa was officially opened in Madrand in April. Anine Killian tells a story. The 131,000 square meter Mall of Africa was officially opened in Waterfall City, Midrand in April, attracting over 70,000 people during the official launch. Developed by property developers Attack and Atterbury, Mall of Africa is the largest mall in South Africa and with more than 300 outlets is valued at 4.9 billion rand. Speaking at the launch, Gauteng Premier David Makura said that the mall was part of Gauteng's major spatial landscape transformation and noted that there were major developments going on throughout the province. He said that Waterfall City was an important intervention in changing the face of Midrand, adding that the Mall of Africa was the main anchor of the new Midrand Central Business District. He said that by 2018, there will be 12,000 people working in Midrand CBD, and by the time the development of Waterfall City is complete, 60,000 people will be employed there. The opening of the mall was a significant strategic milestone for retail in South Africa. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.